Are recent Fed rate cuts the tonic the housing markets need to rebound? Let's ask Connie DeGroote, a real estate broker at Colwell Banker in Beverly, Beverly Hills, California. We had your boss on earlier, uh, Richard Smith. So he was, he was very happy at this rate cut. How about you? Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, actually, I felt the effects almost immediately last week. How? Um, well, my phone was ringing. <laughs> properties that, really, properties that almost had no showings all of a sudden have a renewed interest. I got an offer. It was a little low on a property, but that property had been dead almost since uh, oh. August. So I'm talking to other lenders, and they're experiencing a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's refis, but also they're working okay. with buyers that have been on the fence for a long period of time. There's so many reasons to be encouraged. I'm, I feel very, very optimistic about, about things. And I also, I mean, the rates are very low. The 30 years about um, what it was at, in 2004 with a lot of markets um, adjusting in the prices. I believe it's an ideal time to buy or at least investigate um, if there's okay. opportunity out there. Connie, and I think that it's going to push people so who, forward. Who are the people who are calling? Are they foreigners? Because we had a last segment where people were saying that uh, we have a lot of foreigners from Europe, South America coming in with a stronger currency ready to buy up some of these properties. Well, I remember the last time I was speaking with you, Liz, that I was talking about that yep. because I had lived for about seven years in Europe. And um, about one out of every five showings that I have in Beverly Hills has been to somebody from Europe. So that has continued to be true. And there, um, But I'm dealing with foreigners, but I'm also dealing with people that are buying homes, you know, under a million dollars, $600,000. They're not only multi-million dollar homes. So everybody's getting out there. And we're also dealing with, you know, there, we're, we have inflation to deal with at some point. So maybe there might just be this window of low rates. There might be a unique opportunity for some people to move forward and get into the market. Yeah. Um, and, and the, I, you know, the flip, and the flip the, side of the foreigners uh, buying properties, of four out of five of your buyers are, are American citizens. I'm just wondering, though, even though they're anxious to buy right now, are they able to get the loans that would allow them to buy? Yes, I, I, I'm taking buyers out, and I don't take a buyer out unless they've been pre-approved. And not pre-approved six months ago, pre-approved, you know, a couple weeks to a month ago. So I'm working with people that can qualify for a loan. They're not superstars. They're, you know, working professionals, and the loans are out there. And obviously, you know, I would know otherwise. I mean, people can't come to me to buy a house unless they can get the money to do so. You know, I love some of these uh, prices and how much that they've actually fallen. I, I don't love it, but it's certainly interesting to, to watch the drama here. Stockton down nearly 31%, 30, Sacramento yes. down 23%, Pacific Palisades though, this is a higher end 20%. area, <laughs> up 20%, and this of course is the, yes. uh, the home of the governor, but uh, you know, these are the, the higher end seems to be going up just a bit, am I reading that correctly? They're going up. You know, if in looking at all the diff, all across California, it's really, it's really something. I mean, I'm surprised daily. I, I look at an area that I think has has gone down, and it really hasn't. It's more or less stable. So uh, you, ha it's so important that everybody, you know, gets information on what's happening in their local market, so that if they're out there looking to buy, that they don't overpay or that they don't lose out on an opportunity because their offer is way, way too low. It has to make sense, and it has to be backed up by something that's tangible to present to the seller. Okay. All right. Connie DeGroote Thank from you. Coldwell Banker. Great to see you. Thanks very much, Connie. Appreciate Always it. Come nice. back again. Keep us updated. Well, Thank here's, you. here's another.